all right we're back finally had to go to uh three different o'reilly's trying to get all the parts gathered up so um we're gonna dump the oil in finally now we got a drain plug and then um we're also gonna go ahead and do the water pump so this is part two so we're gonna go ahead and pop this thing open. Yep, I just give her one good spap and Ooh. boom, boom. Feel this bad boy back. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can hit the no spill zones. Ugh, I might want to use one of these tops. Actually, what do we do with them? Throw it in the recycle, huh? All right. Oh, right here. Nice. So that's what we got off a gallon that I used to put the we put the oil in. So we're gonna use this because I don't know what I do with my funnels, but perfect too. If it's great, nice. Never used one. Usually I make them a little bit bigger, but uh. So we're gonna do five quarts of full synthetic 530. Yeah, there we go. There, there she goes. goes up pour most of it because it's a five quart container so just pour most of it and then um, when she starts the jug gets pretty light you can just uh, check how much you got all right so now we're taking out the motor mount bolts because uh, we got to take this bracket off that way we can take the water pump out so that's where we're at right now there we go Okay. So I don't know what I do with my impact adapter, so we're doing it by hand. Yeah, it's, we're probably gonna be a kind of a, a bitch. That's why this thing comes in handy with the, the handle on it. like that okay that one's still super the outside one's coming loose all right yeah I want to kill O'Neill on there he goes in Yeah, probably easier to get it with this. Or you can use that one actually. That one's a lot smoother. Go a lot faster with it. I'll pull these guys out. Probably speed up the video a little bit fast forward this part because uh I don't know what I do with my uh three eighths adapter. Otherwise I would have zipped these out. Save me a lot of time. Those two there. Go yeah, ahead. Get on there. there. Oh, you gotta click the button. There you go. Yep. Yeah, so it locks. Take this one out and then uh so we're gonna get this bracket off real quick and then we'll come back and uh get the bolts off. So Stay tuned. So that's where we're at right now. It's right here. We're trying to get the um, last bolt here off the uh, the uh, thermostat housing. That's why I'm on the water pump. We're on the very last bolt. Been fighting it the whole way. They put this thing in there. Everything is real tight. You know, real tight quarters, like it's a bitch. Some shit, you're gonna take some shit apart. So, you know what I'm saying? Just know that. So, uh, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on the process and go over the whole thing and um, show you how it's done. Alright. Alright, finally got the water pump free. Go ahead and pull it out.
Definitely some wobble in the shaft. Bearings sound like shit. So we did the right thing here. So. I'm gonna get that all cleaned up. And then uh, put the new gasket on there, bolt it all back together, and uh, get it done. All right. All right, well, I didn't end up filming it, but um, basically, um, I didn't didn't take any pictures of uh, this little piece right here. It goes to the tensioner. It's like an extra little block, but uh, I finally figured it out and. Uh, Got that on there, got it all in there. So now we're uh, gonna go ahead and put the intake back on and uh, put some coolant in it and then fire it up. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. We got it all back together and that's it. I got my younger brother helping me. You know what I'm saying? We out here trying to get it done, man. So, uh, yeah. All right. So you want to slap the old intake boot in there? Right here. So, uh, so this we're going to take this guy first. And that's basically the thunder part. So, and you can see right here. I'll trade your spots. Yeah, it's raining out now. It hasn't rained in a minute. So I'll flip it over. See how this cut out here? gonna go right into there so you want to slide that in make sure it's legit now let's see this guy here yep pop it right in there she takes a little strong arm in oh all right lock and load check that back one Put that one then pop that in all right now we need this guy. Damn. All right, so my brother got all the stuff hooked back up. And uh, basically, we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten down the air box screws and then um, get the coolant in there. And then. Um, Make sure it's not leaking and everything's running smoothly. And then uh, should be good to go here. So uh, we'll go ahead and get that started. All right, here we go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. She's back together. Ready? Yep. Lights on. Oh, yeah.
well. Fan sounds like it's running kind of high. I don't know why, but maybe that's natural. I don't know. All right, well, that's it.